Uh, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ace here bringing you guys a brand new video. Um, in today's video, we're going to talk about Tesla killers. So, I have a Tesla. But I love my car. And, you know, there are, there's a new wave of electric cars that are coming into, I guess, 2020. They're calling 2020 the, like, the, the decade of the electric cars. Like, everything's going to be going electric. So, with Tesla being one of the leading manufacturers, let's go and look at some of what YouTube is calling some Tesla killers. So, that's what we're reacting to today. So, let's get right into it. Let's see what, let's see what they're talking about. It's no secret that the automotive industry see, is beginning to change. When Tesla started building electric cars, people were at first skeptical. Mm -hmm. Electric cars at the time were slow, had a limited range, and just looked straight up weird. It seemed that Tesla cars were simply going to be another one of these. But this wasn't to be the case. Recorded this After a while, potato, word bro. began to spread that these new electric cars drove well, had enough range for daily driving, yep. and were quick. Before long, there was a cult following of the Tesla Motor Company. In the mid to late 2010s, recognition began to grow until the average Joe knew those. what a Tesla was when he saw it on the road. As we approach the end of the 2010s, other car companies have stopped laughing at Tesla and have realized that electric cars are here to stay. Yep. If they don't get in now, they'll soon be missing out on a huge market in the future. Oh, that's in this Porsches? video, we'll take a look at some of Tesla's competitors. First, we should define what should be considered a competitor. For this case, I'm referring to new, fully electric cars from established companies. So not companies like Faraday Future, Lucid Motors or Bison, or older cars such as the BMW i3 or Nissan Leaf. And for this video, we'll be taking a look at the high-end nice specs of each competitor. That car. Jaguar, huh? The mission for the I-Pace is to be the most refined electric car, according to Jaguar's marketing team anyway. For example, during the design phase, each car went through eight weeks of continuous vibration testing. The iPace features a 90 kilowatt hour nice. battery and two motors that generate a combined power of 294 kilowatts and 700 newton meters of torque. This will propel the car from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.8 seconds. That's all right. You the know, the Tesla does it in 2.5. So. And DC fast charging will take over two hours. What makes the iPace a little different is its dimensions. With the freedom given by the absence of a conventional engine, a few changes have been made. For starters, the hood of the car is very short, and the cabin has been extended forward so it stops over the front wheel arch. This was done to give more room for the interior. Not even the Model X or Model S have been designed with this in mind. The estimated release is mid-2018, starting at $100,000 for the base model. By 2025, Jaguar wants all of its new cars produced to be electric in one form or another. Wow. That's what I was telling y'all. Is Porsche just trying to one-up Tesla, or is this just something they want to do to just keep improving their brand? Well, I think it's interesting that we're finally seeing larger automakers getting into electric drive. Right. Uh, for a long time, we've been hearing about the promise of electric vehicles, but now we're finally actually beginning to see them. The Porsche Mission E is the quickest of the bunch, the claiming 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in under 3.5 seconds but still a ways off the 2.5 mm -hmm. seconds achieved by Tesla's P100D model. That's what I was telling y'all, 2.5. The Mission E wow, will get to 200 kilometers an hour in less weird. than 12 seconds and has a top speed of 250 kilometers an oh. hour. To keep the acceleration going strong all the way to the top speed, two speed gearboxes will be used. Stefan Weckbach, head of the project, confirmed that the Mission E will have computer blended braking, where the brake pedal is a request for braking rather than an actual link to mechanical brakes. When the pedal is pressed, a computer works out whether it should use the disc brakes or regenerative braking from the motor. Porsche claims a 15 minute charge time from 0 to 80% on their specialized chargers. Wow! The company states that these chargers will deliver 800 volts with cooling technology to prevent overheating. This energy will of course come from renewables. Interestingly, by about 2020, there's going to be a network of chargers across continental Europe, about 120 kilometers apart. Porsche is investing in this network along with Mercedes, BMW, Ford and Audi. The range of the electric Porsche is said to be 500 kilometers compared to 630 kilometers for Tesla's P100D. But these of course are EPA ratings, so the real world values will be less obviously. Right. The Mission E pricing has been aggressively set to start at $75,000. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. That might be a the South Korean company, oh, Hyundai, goodness. is taking a bold step into the electric market with their Kona EV. No. There's two options for the Kona, no. but the longer range is set to that have a 64 kilowatt hour battery pack with an EPA range of 470 kilometers. 
The car will use an 150 kilowatt motor to go from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in a little over seven seconds. Whoa, whoa, seven Turn seconds? Charging, a one hour fast DC charge as well get on a bike. percent battery life. The higher range Hyundai Kona is said to be about 45,000 US dollars. Ooh. The next competitor to Tesla is the British company Aston Martin. They've recently revealed that they're going to make an all electric version of their car, the Rapid E. It's set to enter production in 2019 as part of the company's second century plan inside initiative. That, that look clean. The Rapid E will have 600 kilowatts of power in an all wheel drive format and 320 kilometers of range. Acceleration figures haven't been given yet, but we can assume it will be pretty quick. The cost that is set to be $255,000, and there's going to be a limited production run of just 155 cars. Wow. Aston Martin's president and CEO, They doing it Dr. to make Andy money. Palmer, they may run enough money. I Tesla wish I could do that directly. in number. Quote, most of the people buying a Model S are buying it fully loaded. They're not limited mm -hmm. by their cash. They're limited by the offer. We're looking to those people looking for something above Tesla. That consumer probably isn't looking for ludicrous mode. Our offer will have very credible acceleration, equal to a gasoline Aston Martin, but you'll be able to drive the car rapidly all the way around Nuremberg without it derating or conking out on you. End quote. And shots fired. <laughs> Aston Martin is teaming up with the Chinese firm Li Eco to develop the electric car. Mercedes is also getting in on the action right, with their new car, the why. EQ. The German automaker says that its battery capacity is over 70 kilowatt hours with a range of about 450 kilometers. As for power, Mercedes says that That's the EQ right. is equipped with two electric motors on the front and rear axles for a total combined power output of 300 kilowatts. The automaker claims that this will drive the car from zero to 100 kilometers an hour in under five seconds. The pricing starts at 76,000 US dollars and the car is set to be arriving in 2019. That one's cool. I like, um, it's still just too slow. Audi for me. also has their sights See, they set keep on coming an electric out with these future, trucks. Starting this with the e-tron Quattro SUV. The company says that the e-tron Quattro has around 442 kilometers of range on a 95 kilowatt hour battery pack. That's okay. The all electric SUV is equipped with three electric motors for a total output of 320 kilowatts pushing the car from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 4.8 seconds. That's DC okay. fast charging will load up the battery in just 50 minutes. The car will start at $100,000 in Germany, but international pricing is currently unknown. The new like all-electric Audi a... is set to be coming in late 2018. I like the lights on there. So as you can see, the competition for Tesla is heating up in the all-electric space. In a way. No matter the outcome, this is ultimately a good thing. The industry has been forced to move, and in the long run, consumers win. But with all of that being said, there's something that Tesla has that the others don't. The Tesla brand name, if public sentiment remains the same after the Model 3 snags. Currently, Tesla stands for something. They're far and away the leader when it comes to all electric vehicles, and they have a vision that goes with that. But ultimately, only time will tell who will be the leader in electric cars in the future. So all in all, this is some great stuff. What is that? We are witnessing the first major change in the auto industry in a hundred years. Wow. And it's strongly looking like the 2020s will be an electric decade. Uh huh. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you've just stumbled across this channel, feel free to subscribe. This has been Dagogo and you've been watching Cold Fusion and I'll catch you again soon for the next video. Cheers guys, have a good one. All right, YouTube, well, there you have it those are what everyone's calling to be i guess a tesla killer in my opinion i don't really feel like it's a tesla killer i feel like it's just competition they may i guess they may see a drop off in like model s model xls because like the ashton martin one the um what was the, it was like the benz one and some of the other ones they were looking they were looking pretty good i'm not gonna lie to you but nevertheless um this has been your boy ace i'll see you guys in the next one i'm out peace